Great ingredients prepared with love. A perfect combination like you and pick and pay. So today we're talking pain and I mean there's not many foods I can think of, in fact any at all right now, that help you with physical pain. Emotional pain on the other hand, I believe probably one of the best, best remedies is chocolate. So today we're going to make a fantastic chocolate fondant. The idea is that the recipe is terribly simple so that's painless and then it's it's the ingredients in chocolate that help your body release serotonin and that's that feel good factor. So a beautiful, simple, simple chocolate dessert is painless in anybody's book. Okay, so we're going to start with 100 grams of dark chocolate and 120 grams of butter. I'm going to mix those together over a bain-marie, which is really just a glass bowl or a metal bowl over some boiling water. And you're going to let that melt. If you want this recipe, don't panic, you don't have to write everything down. You can go and look on the Pick and Pay website or go to the Dr. Moll website, whichever, whichever one you want to go to. And if you want the ingredients for the recipe downloaded to your phone, just SMS the number 33728, the keyword being pain. The ingredients will go to your phone, you can head off to PNP and shop to your heart's content. So once the chocolate and the butter's melted, we're going to do the eggy sugary bit. So you can do this with a hand whisk if you feel that way inclined. Electric beater. Then we're going to do two egg yolks and two eggs. Put your machine on and whisk. Perfect. Okay, so what you want to do is sort of be thick and fluffy and delicious. So that's what it should look like. And now we're going to fold it in. It is best to fold in any ingredient with a metal spoon. As long as you do it gently. The idea about folding in is that you've got to try and keep as much air in the situation as possible. Okay, into that we need a stabilizer and that's going to be some flour. Again, we're talking about air, so I'm going to sift the flour into this. Right, so in it goes. There's not terribly much, so you don't have to do it in parts. Just sift all the flour, sift all the flour in. And then using your metal spoon, just gently, back to that gentle thing, stir it in. It's beginning to look all chocolatey and delicious. Okay, there we are. There we have a beautiful fondant mixture. And really it is quite simple. I mean, there's not that many ingredients. And if I can do it, and I really am not the world's best baker, then you can probably do it too. So earlier, I prepared the ramekins. What you've got to do is you've got to grease them and then you've got to dust them with cocoa. This makes everything beautiful and it also makes everything come out a whole lot easier. Once you've done that, you're going to spoon in the fondant mixture and then let them rest for about five minutes before you bake them. Right, then you simply pop these in a 180 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. And when they come out, they'll be slightly puffed up. Just let them relax a little bit and then we'll unmold them and everything will be fine. Mm. I guarantee that after eating this, your life will be pain free. And if it isn't, ask for your money back. I want to live the best life.